Hi all, welcome to Liquid Earth, I'm Age. In today's video we'll show you how to cull your images and then organise them with flags, ratings and colour labels. So I've just imported this new shoot and I have 171 images. I'm in the library module. First thing I'm going to do is go through and cull the images. So you can use your toolbar at the bottom here. If that's not showing, press the T, that will toggle the toolbar on and off. If all of these icons aren't showing, press this little down arrow and you can select them here. And with each image you can flag them, which places a little white flag on the image. You can reject them. You can choose that here or press the X to reject the photos. P by the way is the shortcut for flag. You can add ratings, so star ratings, one, two, all the way up to five. Notice that as I'm adding them, the pictures advance into the next image. If you go to Photo and make sure Auto Advance is selected, as soon as you add a rating or a label to an image, it's going to automatically advance to the next one, saving you a fair bit of time. You can also use these color labels at the bottom here. There's shortcuts for the ratings, one to five on your keyboard, and there's shortcuts six to nine, and the purple doesn't have a shortcut. But you can click it here or right click, and you can set the color label to purple. Okay, let's start this again. So to unflag any images, you can highlight them all and press U. So to start, I'm gonna go into the loop view. You can press E as a shortcut to get into the loop view. And then I'm gonna start culling these images. So I'm pressing the X button and I'm gonna star rate the ones that I don't want culled. And I'm gonna go for all of the images, just doing that first of all. So once you've added your labels and rejects, go into the grid view and to reject all of the reject photos, the ones that you've placed the X flag against, go to photo, delete rejected photos. That's going to filter them by the rejected flags and you can either remove them from the catalogue, in which case they're going to stay in their original location but not in Lightroom, or preferably delete them from disk and then they're gone forever. Now you're just left with the images that you've rated. So I've got various images rated all the way through here. Now if you want, you can add color labels to these. So for example, let's say I want to add color labels to just the ones with Dave or people in the images. So I can select these images and you can use the normal parameters. I'm just pressing the command or control on a Mac to highlight all of the ones with Dave and now let's flag those images with red. So all of those images now have a red flag on them. So now we can filter these images and you've got your filter options over here by the same parameters. So if I want to filter just by Dave images then they're just the red images and they're all filtered automatically. I could also add a filter let's say I want greater than or equal to four star, so that's only going to show anything four or five stars with a red flag. You can turn your filters off over here. Next up you can add some keywords if you like, so all of these images for instance I can put a keyword in here and let's call these landscape and now every image that I've selected has got a landscape here and again I can just select the rest of these images, call them what you like, but just for this tutorial I'm going to just name these landscape images. The other thing you can do is press this little spray icon down here, put your keyword in the box, let's call this landscape, and you can now spray on your images very quickly all of the landscape images. Okay, so now that I have them labelled with a keyword tag landscape, I can come up here and press text. Again, if this isn't showing, press your backslash key and that will toggle that on and off. If you press text, and you can search by text, maybe text in the file name. In this example, it's by keyword. Let's put in there landscape. Now I've filtered only images with landscape. And again, I can choose to have just my four stars or greater. So now I've got landscape where I flagged them with a four star or greater. 
So there's a quick way to organize, rate your images. Hope that was useful for you. If it was, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. It really helps to grow the channel. And I post these videos every single week. Thanks for joining me, guys, and I'll see you next time.